All right, in this video, two things to cover. I'm going to dive a little bit deeper into the traffic stats tutorial and going, I'm going to show you a fix. Um, the, the code appears to be broken or maybe it, it something with the recent update to KOWP, maybe it broke the code, I don't know. I'm going to show you how to fix that real quick. But before we do that, here's the other thing I want to talk about real quick with you. These are tut uh, tutorial requests I have received. Uh, more, 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 more. You know, I've had several requests on these right here covering more of this stuff. So it's definitely going to be coming in the near future. I want y'all to know I am getting your request. Um, you know, it's just going to be a matter of time until I can get them posted. Uh, this one right here, recent updates to KOWP. I did get a request, you know, to like do a tutorial each time KOWP is updated um, to cover the updates. Uh, I'm not going to be able to do that because some of the updates are, are major sometimes. And by the time I would learn how to actually use that update, if I ever would use it, it's probably going to be another update coming up right after it. Uh, so what I'll do with that one here, as updates are released and as I use them or as I get requests to use a certain piece, if I can use it, if I know how to do it, I will use that in my tutorial. So I'll tie that into tutorials that I do uh, based on the request I receive. All these other ones down here, they're coming in the near future. Uh, vertical scrolling got several requests for that. I did purchase lightning launcher. Um, messed around with it a little bit, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and be quite honest with you right now. I'm still a Nova Launcher fan, even though Nova Launcher doesn't have vertical scrolling. Uh, but I, I'll work on something, see if I can't get something for you guys or gals uh, in regards to vertical scrolling. All these things are coming. So, you know, that's tutorials that I have received or tutorial requests that I have received. Now, on to this traffic stats thing. Uh, a video I posted um, back in earlier this month uh, to traffic stats based on your billing cycle. I did uh, realize when my billing cycle reset, it was shortly after KOWP was updated. I don't know if the code was broken from the update or if the code was just jacked up from the beginning. I thought it was working fine. But nonetheless, what you have to do, those global variables that I created in this video, you do need to put dollar symbols around them. And I think I did mention in the video here, as you can see, that one does have dollar symbols around it, whereas I know this isn't high quality. Uh, let me mute this and see if it's going to come in any clearer if I play it. Uh, da, da, there we go. Okay. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but I didn't put dollar symbols around that one where you definitely want to. And uh, with that said, let's just go ahead and see that update. And let me also give you a few tips on... Uh, showing what you want to see in your data usage. So let's go ahead and have a look at KLWP. All right, so I did release this update component, data usage v1.1. It is on my Dark Skittles preset, but also you probably created your own if you followed the tutorial. So inside of that component, let me go ahead and unlock it so we can mess around with it. Under globals, notice I did put the dollar symbols around it. That's the fix that you need to do. Everything else should be fine. Um, my start date is the 17th of each month, and today, recording this video, it is April 22nd. So my billing cycle just restarted. It started on the 17th, and you know it's only been about five days. So right now, I have this also this little number here. That number really is just coming from this code. So let me go back and show that to you. And I did have a uh, one person was asking, you know, how do I see just the megabytes instead of gigabytes? Well, if I go to this text item that I have right here, and if I go inside of it and look at the code, I am using GV correct. So that's the megabytes. But when I divide by a thousand, that's actually taking it. And let's see, I'm, I'm trying to use my MacBook keyboard. Okay, if I delete the divide by a thousand, and then also if I come in here and delete the words or letters GB, that's how many megabytes that have been used since April 17th of my billing cycle. So you can use that, just take away the divide by a thousand if you're using the component, and that's how many megabytes you've used. And then what you'd want to do there, if you are, I'll just go ahead and check this and save it, no big deal. And let me show you this. If I go to globals, what you'd want to do there, depending on your limit, suppose your limit, this 5,000 represents 5,000 megabytes. Well, suppose your limit was only 500 megabytes, which corresponds to half a gig. 5,000 megabytes corresponds to 5 gigs. So if I click OK on that, um, notice if I've used 98 megabytes, you know, the, the green bar is doing what it's supposed to be doing. Um, so, you know, it's about one-fifth of the whole bar because, you know, 98 is pretty close to 100, and 100 is one-fifth of 500. So if you want megabytes, you can do that. If you want to see that number, just change that code as I did just a moment ago. 
but I'm gonna bump this on back up to 5,000. As you can see, the green did go away because I'm nowhere near using 5,000 megabytes, which corresponds to five gigs. To also show you a few things, um, this, upon making this video, this code does work the way it should. I'm gonna come back in here. Okay, I'm gonna let that stay the way it is. I'm gonna go down and since my billing cycle, the way GV Correct worked, I did discuss this in the tutorial video. If I've just started my billing cycle, it's going to uh, record or show the traffic stats since that billing, uh, billing cycle started. So if I go over to traffic stats, I'm going to do the manual code for that, and it's that one right there. And if I do my billing cycle started on the 17th of the month, so notice the manual code here versus what I have it automatically doing dynamically, I guess you could say. Notice we are seeing the same amount except, uh, you know, it's just rounding uh, here because I am rounding that thing to two decimal places right there, whereas this one's showing 98.52. Uh, so that is correct. Now let me go back in here and change a few other things. So watch what happens if I go over to my globals. Let me change, suppose, okay, today is April the 22nd. Suppose my data resets on the 23rd. So what it's gonna do now, the way I have it coded and the way I explained in the tutorial video, is it's going to record data from the 23rd of last month up until now because my billing cycle has not reset. Now, right now upon recording this video, it is April 22nd. So my billing cycle is getting ready to end, so to speak. Now notice this code here, the one, the GV correct, is working the way it should be. I've used over 1,000 megabytes since the 23rd of last month. That's the way this code works. To show you that with the manual code, let me come in here, and I said 23rd. Now right now, it's gonna show zero if I do this. The reason why it shows zero is because it's not the 23rd day of the current month yet. Today is the 22nd. But we can rewind one month by doing R, one M and now notice uh, these two things okay it's showing gigabytes because I have it set to automatic let me set take this thing and put it on megabytes remember I've mentioned that in the tutorial video as well and notice these two numbers do match up except this is rounded this is the actual or whatever but by us, by that tutorial that I did make with the GV correct, um, this is going to dynamically change depending on whether you're getting ready to end your cycle or if you've just restarted your cycle or, or what have you. Um, so that's the fix. Put your dollar symbols around. Let me just back out of this. Put your dollar symbols around those two pieces there and you should be good to go. Um, let me back out of this completely too. Um, if you did get the component, let me show you some other things that I did add to the component while we're sitting here talking about it. I'm done with the tutorial piece, but here's some little perks, I guess. And uh, maybe this might interest some of you. I don't know. I added a few more uh, globals. Okay, I had those there. Uh, the width, we can make this guy wider. And you might say, oh, the words are in the way where well, we can slide the words on over whichever way we want. Now, check that out. Do you see how the words flipped over? Once I hit that halfway point, the words flip. So if you want it on this side, you know, the gigabytes are at the top, whereas if we want it from on this side, the gigabytes are showing at the bottom of that little text string. So depending on what side you want the words on, um, that's what, that's the whole point of moving text will do. And plus it moves it so it's outside of that bar. Uh, again, you can make the height of it taller or shorter. The taller I make it, you start to see some of this green too, um, because that's how much, uh, of my data I've used since the uh, 17th, which has only been five days. So I'm nowhere near my five gigabyte limit. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, comment below or make a request over at uh, my website, idomath.weebly.com slash KLWP. And that is it for this video. Hope it helped.